Today we're doing skill review day six. The objective is to subtract three digit numbers. The materials needed for today are your online whiteboard or your whiteboard dry erase marker and dry eraser. And we're gonna follow the teaching style where I do it, we do it together, and you do it on your own. First, I'm gonna show you an example. So you can see I have the hundreds chart, just like what we've been working with. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by labeling my hundreds chart with my hundreds, tens, and ones. The first number I have is 322. Today we're working with three digit numbers now, so we're gonna be using the hundreds column. You can see I have three hundreds, two tens, and two ones. So I'm going to draw three hundreds blocks, two ten sticks, and two ones. And this is 100, 200, 300, 310, 320, 321, 322. And since subtraction is different than addition, we remember that we are getting rid of the 48. Okay? So, step one is start in the ones. I need to take away eight ones. Well, as you can see over here, I don't have eight ones to take away. So what I need to do is borrow from the tens. So I'm going to borrow this one. One 10 stick breaks up into 10 ones, right? Because one 10 equals 10 and 10 ones equals 10. It's the same thing. All I'm doing is breaking up the 10 stick and making it into 10 ones. Now I can take away eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I can move on to the tens place. I need to take away four tens. Right now you can see I only have one. So I need to borrow. I'm gonna borrow from the hundreds. And I'm gonna make some new 10 sticks. Well, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. If I count by tens, I need 10 of them to make 100, just like in the ones. So I'm gonna draw 10 10 sticks. Because 10 10 sticks is the same as 100, okay? So I'm not adding anything new. I'm just trading my 100 for 10 tens so that now I can take four of them away. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now I can count what's left because I've taken away 48. So I can go and count what I've crossed out. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So I have taken away 48, and now I can see what is left. I start in the ones. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now in the tens, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. In the hundreds, 1, 2. Two. So 322 minus 48 equals 274. Okay, let's go ahead and have you try one with me. I need you to make your hundreds chart. Go ahead and label it with your hundreds, tens, and ones.
Now I want you to draw this first number, 982. Nine hundreds, eight tens, two ones. Nine hundreds, make sure you're drawing it with me. Eight tens, two ones. I'll give you just a moment to make sure your drawing matches mine, and then we'll start subtracting. Okay, now we need to take away 52. Step one is start in the ones, and the ones place is a two. So I need to take away two ones, and I can because there's enough there to take away. Next, we look in the tens, there's a five, so you need to cross out five tens. Now you can see we've taken away 52, and we can go ahead and count what's left. Over here in the ones, we have zero left. In the tens, we have three left. And in the hundreds, we have all nine hundreds left still. So 982 minus 52 equals 930. Let's go ahead and erase your whiteboards and try another example. 429 minus 81. So start by drawing your hundreds chart, labeling your hundreds tens, and ones. And once you have that ready, I want you to draw 429. So I'll give you a little bit of time to draw 429, and then we'll see if your drawing matches mine. Okay, you should have drawn four hundredths, two tens, and nine ones. Take just a second, make sure your picture matches mine, and then we'll start subtracting. We're going to be subtracting 81. Start in the ones place and take away one. So you should have just crossed out one. Now let's look in the tens place. We need to take away eight. 
Thumbs up or thumbs down? Can we take away eight tens right now? We cannot. We only have two here. So we can't take away eight of them because we only have two. So we need to borrow. We're going to borrow from the hundreds. We know 100 and 10 tens are the same thing. So we're going to take that 100. We're going to move it to the tens and we're going to break it up into 10 tens. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Can we take away eight tens now? Yes, we can, because we have more than 10 of them because we borrowed 10 and we already had two. So let's go ahead and cross out eight of them. We've taken away our 81. Now I want you to count what is left to figure out the answer to this equation and have that written and ready on your whiteboard. So I'll give you just a moment to count and see what's left. Okay, in the ones, we have eight left. In the tens, we have four left. In the hundreds, we have three left. So 429 minus 81 equals 348. Okay, go ahead and erase, and I have one more example I want you to try with me. Label your hundreds, your tens, and your ones. I'm gonna try to pick up the pace a little bit and have you do it a little more on your own. Start by drawing 774. I'll give you just a moment to get that up and ready and then you can check your drawing with mine. Okay, you should have had seven hundreds. Seven tens. And four ones. Make sure your drawing matches mine before we start subtracting. It's really important that you make sure that you have the right number drawn to start with or else when you start crossing out, you're going to end up with the wrong number. Okay, we're going to be taking away 86. Step one is to start in the one, so we need to take away six ones. We do not have six ones. I'll give you just a moment. You'll need to borrow. 
And once you borrow, you can take away six ones. So I'll give you just a moment to try that on your own and then we'll see if what you did matches mine. So you should be borrowing a 10, so you cross out a 10, move it over to the ones. Then you should have made that 10 into 10 ones because 110 and 10 ones is the same thing. We're just breaking it up. Then you should have crossed out six of those ones because that's what we're taking away. Take just a moment, make sure that your borrowing looks the same as mine. Now let's look in the tens. We need to take away eight tens. We do not have eight tens, so we're gonna borrow 100. Go ahead on your whiteboard and show what that 100 would break down into. And then take away your eight tens. I'll give you just a moment to work on that and then you can check your work with mine. Okay, so you should have broken up that 100 into 10 tens. Then we had to take away eight of them. Now we've taken away 86. We've done all the borrowing that we needed to to be able to take that away. If you haven't already, I want you to take a moment to count what's left and write that answer up on your whiteboard so that I can check your work. Okay, let's count what's left to see if your answer matches mine. In the ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In the tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in the hundreds, one, two, three, four, five, six. So 774 minus 86 equals 688. Okay, go ahead and erase. Now you're going to be working on this skill alone. 
It'll be skill J3, which is subtracting three digit numbers. So you'll see that you have it written a little differently, but all you're going to do is you're going to draw your hundreds chart. You're going to start with drawing this number and then you will take away this number. Remember to make sure that when you're subtracting, you always start in the ones place, then move to the tens, then move to the hundreds. Go ahead and begin. <laughs> 